Hello. We've already started to see the connection between uh, derivatives and other applications, such as the relation between uh, displacement velocity acceleration, and that introduced also the concept of second derivatives. For that reason, I like to start by uh, taking a couple of examples in which we will determine the second derivative for the following functions. The first one, at point A, I'm going to consider the function f of x to be equal to x at power 3 minus 3x squared plus 7x minus 9. Now, we have to determine the second derivative for this function, but we know that uh, second derivative is nothing else than the derivative of the first derivative. Therefore, a first step is going to be to determine the first derivative for this function, and then we derivate the result once again to obtain the second derivative. So that's the plan. Let's uh, apply it. It's going to be very simple and very quick. So f prime of x, the first derivative of this function, is going to be 3, the power, times x squared, minus 3 times 2 is going to be 6, x to the power 2 minus 1 is going to be just x, plus 7. And the uh, derivative of 9 is a constant, so nothing. So by now I hope you got some uh, uh, confidence derivating uh, simple polynomial functions such as this. So I'm going to go a little faster. And now, this is the first derivative. We need the second derivative. I'm going to derivate this function, the result I just calculated, again. So the second derivative for f of x is going to be, and I'm looking on the expression of the first derivative, so it's going to be 3 times 2, which is going to be 6, x at power 2 minus 1, so just 1, minus the derivative of 6x is going to be just 6. So this is the result, 6x minus 6, or let's factor out uh, 6 times x minus 1. So this is the second derivative for our initial function f of x. So it's just that simple. You just have to um, apply the same process twice. It's not even double the work, because I'm sure you have noticed, but I like to point it out. You see how each time you differentiate a polynomial function, the degree of that polynomial expression it's decreasing by 1. This is going to help you quite a lot in uh, other type of problems that I'm going to discuss in another example. So let's consider another function now uh, at point B. Let's take this function f of x, which is the product between 1 over x minus 3x times 2x squared plus 7. So you see it's a product. That's the first thing I notice. And obviously I'm going to have to apply the product rule. But there is one more thing that I notice in that uh, first parenthesis. I have a quotient 1 over x, which, as we know, we don't really have uh, other way to approach it then. Take this quotient and express it as a power. And that's going to be x at power minus 1. Let me explicitly write it again to get rid of this quotient. It's going to be x at power minus 1 minus 3x times 2x squared plus 7. And now I have exactly what I uh, talked about in the beginning, a product between two functions. The first expression would be a function g, the second, uh, let's call that h. So applying the product rule, derivative of a product uh, g times h is going to be g prime times h plus g times h prime. Just a reminder of the product rule. In order to find the second derivative, we're going to have to take it one step at a time, so I'm going to calculate the first derivative first of all. So f prime of x is going to be, let me put it explicitly so it's clear for everyone, so it's going to be d dx of the first expression, x to the power minus 1 minus 3x times the, the second expression remains unchanged, 2x squared plus 7, plus the first expression, x to the power minus 1 minus 3x, just as it was, times the derivative d dx of 2x squared plus 7. Now, we can uh, calculate the derivatives of these two uh, expressions above. And uh, we're going to have the derivative of this x at power minus 1 is going to be minus x at power minus 1 minus 1, so minus 2, minus 3, because that's what the derivative of 3x is, times the expression 2x squared plus 7, plus x at power minus 1 minus 3x times the derivative of 
uh, 2x squared plus 7 is going to be 4x. Hopefully this uh, poses no uh, difficulties to any of you. And now all we have to do is uh, simplify this expression a little uh, more because it doesn't look uh, pretty and uh, keep in mind that we have to derivate this expression again. So we have to bring it to a form which is going to be simple for us to uh, derivate once again. So let's expand those parentheses because it's going to be uh, a mess to try to derivate the way it is right now. And if I perform all the operations, uh, I'm going to perform that the product between those two expressions and I'm going to have minus 2 times exit power. The power is going to be minus 2 plus 2, uh, the product of the first two terms, that's what I end up with. And uh, that's going to equal 0. And I'm going to write 0, not really necessary, but it's um, somewhat useful for you to understand. Let's continue here. The next term would be minus 6 x square minus 7 x at power minus 2 minus 21 and the second product there if I expand is gonna I'm gonna have plus 4 x at power minus 1 plus 1 again x at power 0 I'm gonna write it just like that minus uh, 12 x square now I notice that I'm starting to get uh, like terms like this uh, minus 6x square and minus 12x square. I also know that any number at power 0 is going to be 1. So each time I wrote x at power 0, that's going to be basically 1. So in other words, I shouldn't even have uh, put anything there, but I just wanted to make it more clear. So those are going to be just constant, just like the minus 21. So they're going to all add up. And I also have this single term uh, minus 7 times x at power minus 2. That's on its own. And we're going to leave it just like that. Let's put it all together in a polynomial expression that's as simple as we can uh, get it. And that's going to be minus 18x squared minus 7x at power minus 2 minus 19. I keep mentioning that negative exponents are not really preferred by anybody, so I'm just going to rewrite this as minus 18 x at power 2 minus 7 over x squared minus 19. Although this is just the first step that you need in order to determine the second derivative. So the form in the previous step it was actually much more uh, appropriate for uh, derivating it again. And that's exactly what I'm going to use for calculating now the second derivative for f of x. Let's look at it directly. So it's going to be minus 18 times 2 which is 36 times x at the power 2 minus 1, it's 1. And then I have minus 7 times the power of this uh, variable is going to be minus 2, and put it in parentheses to uh, separate it, times x at power minus 2 minus 1. That's going to give us minus 3. And then we have the constant, which we know is going to be 0, so I'm not going to write anything there. This is basically the derivative, but let's simplify it a little bit more. So the result is going to be minus 36x plus 14 over x at power 3. That's how we get rid of that um, negative exponent. So as you can see, there is nothing uh, really special about finding the second derivative for a function. As long as you know how to apply the rules for uh, differentiation, you just have to apply them uh, twice and um, you'll find the result in no time. I wish you good luck and uh, thanks for watching.